A new project in one Columbia neighborhood hopes to bring safety through sidewalks. A traveling gun show in Boone County has rifle lovers fired up. And some in Missourians lose their locks for a cause. KOMU 8 News at 9 starts now. Live from Studio 8A, coverage you can count on in high definition. This is KOMU 8 News at 9. The mother of a Newtown shooting school, school shooting victim today delivered a powerful call for new gun control laws. Good evening, I'm Nick Brennan. And I'm Monica Ayala Talavera. The Senate began debating this issue this past week. And despite a new bipartisan push for background checks, there are no guarantees. NBC's Brian Moore has a story from Washington. A group of young professionals in the Red Cross hosted a Rolling for Red fundraiser today at Skate Zone Roller Rink in Jefferson City. The event was geared toward getting more families involved in the Red Cross and raising awareness for their local projects. A Club Red chair told KOMU 8 News the event raised around $1,000 with about 50 people in attendance. She says the money will go to fund local projects at the Central Missouri chapter of the Red Cross, which covers 21 counties. Dozens took steps towards finding a cure for multiple sclerosis today. Some walked, others danced for a cure at Stevens Lake Park. Well, nicer weather means a chance to lose the heavy coats and layers of clothing behind. But for some people in Colombia, the nicer weather meant a chance to lose their hair for a good cause. About 12 teams of participants lost their logs to raise money for childhood cancer research. This is the fourth year Mizzou Med organized the event for the St. Baldrick's Foundation. Doctors and patients alike say having an event like this is crucial for the cause. We need to make sure that every child with cancer gets cured. The University of Missouri Children's Hospital was recently awarded a grant from St. Baldrick's to help cover the cost of clinical research trials and treatment for local cancer patients. After months of discussion, the City Council voted to add one more sidewalk project to its sidewalk master plan. KOMU 8's Rohan Shu tells us how this project could help the neighborhood. Mental health expert told KOMU 8 News the number of nomophobiacs has risen from 54% in 2008 to 66% in 2012. And that number is only expected to rise. We'll have sports next. The city's sidewalk master plan now has a total of 42 projects on its list. Now here's a look at what we're following on KOMU 8 News at 10. Finally, some good news concerning home foreclosures. We'll share more details and have, and have your business headlines up next. It's looking good for tomorrow, though. Can't really complain. You're going to have the wind as a factor, but should be nice to be outside. So Wind is nothing to worry about as long as you have the sun. Nope, not at all. Beautiful weather. I love it. See you at 10.